rock and roll has got to go. And go it does at KWK. We're all through. WA6RNG walking mobile. Uh, right, uh, Roy, I'm still here. Uh, uh, how have you been? Oh, just fine, thanks. What are you up to? I'm taking my constitutional with Betty. Where are you? You'll never believe it. I'm in Long Beach, aboard the Queen Mary. Seemed like a good day to take the tour. Break. Go ahead, Breaker. This is WA6BAW Mobile 6. Byron, are you the guy who recorded those radio announcements? The ones described in ham radio. I'm the guy. Well, I heard two of them last week. They're terrific. Well, thanks. Uh, thanks very much. Uh, they've been getting uh, quite a bit of play around the country. WA6RNG, W6PJX. Boyne, how are you? Fine, Byron. Hi, Renee. Hi, Roy. Break, please. That's my better half, guys. That is powerful, to say the least. <laughs> well, you know, I, I, I'm assuming this is acceptable on the air, but there's only one description that I can think of for this film. That is one hell of a film. So if it's not acceptable, it's not acceptable. It is terrific. It's been many years since the other evening when we screened it that I've had the chance to see it. And, whew. Over dramatic, drama queen, toxic, uh, on the business side of it, wasn't this a top-grossing picture of 59? Yeah, I believe it was. I think so. I believe it was. And uh, there are quite a few cities that it played that, well, one that I can think of, and as far as I know, it still holds the record, I should have checked, uh. was Louisville, Kentucky. Now, remember when this was made, yeah. and obviously we've all seen the film now, uh, to play a film like this, even that recently, in the South, would have been something else. It played for well over a year at the Kentucky Theater. Mm -hmm. I was going to school in Louisville at the time, oh, and every Saturday I'd go in and sob my way through that thing two or three times. I love that film. My mother hates it, <laughs> so I'm sure she just watched the whole thing, and she's sitting there, oh, 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 that film. Well, this had uh, Academy Award nominations, uh, supporting actors for both uh, Susan Conner and Juanita Moore, and I don't understand why neither one, either one of them won. Well, Juanita Moore walked away with the show. Oh, she, she I mean, definitely did. And when you're dealing with more uh, or less a debut role yeah, for her? Yeah, as far as I know, it was. She must have done some things before that that weren't uh, of any major importance, but she just really is a powerful actress in this one. Incredible. It? And she okay. does. She upstages Lana Turner very And that's hard to do. And that is. And it was, so, and it, oh, well. Let's do one thing here. We'll, we'll come back to this after okay, the next sure. feature because it's a shorty. There's yeah. so much to talk about on this. Um, for those of you that might have to leave us, we want to give you the, the question for this week. Uh, it's an easy one. If we don't do better than we did last week, I can tell you what the question's going to be next week. So this is your chance. Let's get on the ball. Who was Charles Lawton's wife? Very simple question. If we don't get some answers this week, you are going to be in serious trouble next week. They'll put the address up here for you in just a second. What are you going to do to them, Fred, if they don't get the answer? If they don't get it, they're going to get who's buried in Grant's tomb. <laughs> and I'll bet you some turkey comes along and gives us a wrong answer to that. So, the other thing, just a reminder, after the next movie, we're going to be giving away our latest prize, the evening on the town with the two of us going on the whole bit. And we've got a little announcement for a new one that we just came up with. We just inherited from our sales manager, bless his heart, uh, a nice big stack of tickets to the Harlem Globetrotters. <laughs> um, the week after Christmas. Well, there's always such fun games to watch. I right. Well, we're going to be giving years. away yeah. some tickets to that, and yeah. we're going to be doing it next week, so you'll have to pay close attention because you only get one week to do it because they go next week, and it's another one of those things we get to go. So Good. they get to sit with us that evening. 
Should be much fun. What do we got on the second feature? Yeah, I'm going to let you talk about it because it's fields again, and you know what I think of fields. Well, in keeping with our, well, like you said earlier, Paramount's uh, philosophy of leaving them happy, we're going to bring in some more, some more comedy here. This is a fields picture that uh, I think 32 was a year, and uh, boy, I don't know. I, I think that uh, fields again shows versatility, but the film is, um, well, I guess I'll let you be the judge of that. It's, it's not one of my favorite, but uh, there's some, there's a few lines in there, yeah. some stick that's pretty.